We have a list of cruise ship foods that can wreck your vacation. While there are thousands of food options on a cruise, food connoisseurs and health experts have made recommendations on 13 cruise ship foods that you should and should not eat. This is good information to know both to enjoy the best foods possible on a cruise and also to avoid a vacation nightmare. We're going to roll through the information that you need quickly coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason and we are your cruise information channel. We get you the cruise news and information you're looking for quickly without wasting your time. So if you love cruising, consider subscribing. Let's jump right into this. Information direct from food connoisseurs and health experts. 13 cruise ship foods you should and should not eat. One food that the experts said should definitely be avoided on a cruise ship is sushi. They said that sushi is one of the least trustworthy foods that you will find on a cruise ship. And with this, they were reminded that raw fish has to be kept at specific temperatures, both to ensure its safety and its flavor. The experts admitted that sushi on a cruise ship may not be unsafe, but they pointed out that if you love sushi, a cruise ship is not where you're going to find the best. They also asked the question that with all the other great food options that you have on a cruise ship, do you want to run the risk of ruining your trip because you got some bad sushi? Next, it was noted that you should consider eating cooked fish on a cruise ship. They said that on a cruise ship you will find some very fresh fish. They noted that a lot of times cruise lines, they will partner with local fishermen and fishing companies in order to get a fresh catch when they go into port. Now one caveat was made regarding your fish selection on your next cruise, and that is that you should look to order your fish from a dining room or from a kitchen as opposed to getting the fish that is available on the buffet line. The experts are just very much against anything that is sitting underneath the heat lamps for an extended period of time. Then one food item that was universally stated to be avoided is condiments. We all know that ketchup, mayonnaise, mustard, things of that sort are to be refrigerated after opening and we do that when we are in our homes. But if you've ever noticed on a cruise ship, a lot of times those same condiments, they are sitting out on tables or they're in some dispensers. And we're not talking about in inside temperature controlled areas. We're talking about on the top deck, on the Lido deck where there is plenty of heat. And as you know that when you have heat, and when you have moisture, that is a breeding ground for the growth of bacteria. And for that reason, the experts said, stay away from the condiments. However, you will be glad to know that bread was noted as an item that you should consume on a cruise ship. Now, carbs have been given a bad rap here in recent years. However, it was noted that on a cruise ship, you're going to be doing a lot of walking. You're going to have active excursions, things of that sort. So getting a few extra carbs is not necessarily a bad thing. But the real reason that bread was noted as an item that you should consume on a cruise ship is that it is in such high demand. It is in such high demand that the bakeries on a cruise ship, they bake bread three times a day. So that is a food item that you can definitely get that is fresh. Now with this, like everything else, they said that you want to get bread that is ordered fresh and not necessarily bread that is sitting out under a heat lamp for an extended period of time. And did you know that a ship can go through over 44,000 rolls on a one week cruise? Next, it was recommended not to eat scrambled eggs on a cruise ship. For one, you have that whole bacteria thing because you have something that's wet and you have the heat. So look, all of that's just sort of a safety thing. But the other part is that the food connoisseur said that, look, it's just not a very appetizing option. They said that you could fix better eggs in your kitchen at home. Why is it so not good on a cruise ship? Well, they're feeding thousands of people. And with that, they're going to have their liquid mix and that's what you're going to get. Now, they said if you really really want eggs while you're on your cruise, the best option that you have would be to go to a dining hall and order an egg where you're going to have a yolk. That will ensure that you're getting an actual egg as opposed to that liquid mix. Then if you're looking for a healthy option on your next cruise, fresh fruit was given the green light. They noted that berries and citrus are definitely positive. They said that these both help with hydration and also they boost your immune system while you're on the cruise. Now they did give one additional tip for when you're looking for the safest and best of the fruit on a cruise ship. They said to look for fruit that is not pre-sliced. They said the fruit that's not pre-sliced will both be the most preserved and it will also have the least germs. Now I have to admit that the next 
item on the do not eat list made me a little sad and that is because on the list of do not eat is burgers and burgers is one of my absolute favorite foods. Now the experts gave two reasons why you should reconsider eating a hamburger on your cruise. The first is simply that it is a heavy food and if you have any issues with seasickness at all, heavy foods can amplify the misery to a great degree. The other reason is that if the hamburger is not cooked well, that can present other issues. Okay, we have six items remaining on the cruise food list, but quick question, chime in down below. What is one of the best and worst foods that you have ever had on a cruise ship? Chime in down below with that. I will look forward to reading what your experiences have been, but now on with the cruise food list. The food connoisseurs and health experts did recommend that you eat steak on a cruise ship. Now I know what some of you may be thinking. It is a heavy food just like the hamburger is, but there's a few reasons why they recommended that you eat the steak instead. One is that you generally order the steak so it's not sitting under a heat lamp like a hamburger often is. The the second reason is that it's not quite as greasy as a hamburger, and the third reason is that you can ensure that it is cooked thoroughly, whereas with a hamburger you just sort of get what you get. Next, it was recommended that we do not eat self-serve ice cream cones. And the key note here is the self-serve. And the primary basis here is around the sanitary issues. Everybody is touching the same dispenser handle, and then we use those same hands to touch the cone. And look, it just has its issues, and those were pointed out. Now, I'll have to say that I will probably disobey this recommendation, but at the same time, I have to admit that there's at times when the self-serve ice cream can be a little gross. Now the next food item will probably come as no surprise to anyone and that is that it was said that you should eat green salads on a cruise. It was noted that green salads will be one of the freshest things that you will have available on a cruise and because of all that high fiber content it was recommended that you eat one large salad every single day on your cruise and they said that would pay big dividends. The health experts made three recommendations to have the best salad experience possible. The first is to go to the dining room and get a chef made salad as opposed to getting one off of the buffet. They said that would be your most fresh option. The second recommendation was to go with more nutrient rich greens such as spinach over lettuce. And the third option was to moderate your toppings. So things like the bacon, the croutons, the salad dressing, things like that. Then it was stated that you should be cautious not to eat too many spicy foods on your cruise. Spicy foods, they can irritate the stomach lining and increase nausea, so you want to be aware of that when you're making your food selections throughout the cruise. Now, if you would really like to be healthy on your cruise, one of the best tips from health experts was to eat foods that you will find at your spa eatery. A lot of cruise lines, they will have a food venue that is connected with their spa, and the whole culture of the spa is all about a healthy lifestyle, so they noted that a lot of times you will find your best healthy options there at those venues. And the next universal tip of cruise ship foods to not eat is to not eat foods that are trigger foods for you. And we all have our own list. They are foods that we love to eat them. They taste good, but then you have to pay the piper. You end up with nausea. You end up having your energy just crash, something like that. So look, with all of these food options that you have on a cruise, stay away from those and try some other things. Try some new things, but look, have the best experience possible on your cruise. Okay, I appreciate you all so much, and I hope this information has been helpful. Subscribe and turn that notification bell on if you want to stay up to date with the latest cruise news and information. The next video will be coming out soon, but until then, keep on cruising, and we'll catch you in the next video.